The amaryllis is one of the most spectacularly beautiful of our spring and early summer flowering bulbs. They send up wonderful spikes of big trumpets of scarlet red or white or pink or striped with white and red. This one is past blooming as all the amaryllis in Louisiana are now, but I wanted to mention a few things and concerns that we have with amaryllises. First off, let me mention these old flower spikes. Amaryllises will oftentimes set seeds. Well, this is a wasted effort on the plant's part. So after all the flowers fade, be sure you trim these stalks off back to where they come out of the foliage in the bulb. Now there are two problems with amaryllises caused by diseases that we really can't do a lot about, but I'd like you to see what they look like. One is a viral infection. Look at this leaf right here. Notice how instead of being a nice even medium green, it's broken up into stripes and splotches. These are sure signs and symptoms that this plant is infected with the virus. Now for plants, viruses normally don't kill them. They may make them a little bit weaker and lower their vigor some, but usually viruses are not a major issue. In our landscape plants and with amaryllises, they'll live for a long, long time with viral infections. Our major issues usually occur in the vegetable garden with viruses like on tomatoes or peppers. In our ornamental beds and shrubs and trees, not, not a big deal. Deal. There's nothing you can do to get rid of the virus, but at least you'll know if your plants are infected. If you do have infected plants, keep them isolated and away from your amaryllises that have nice green leaves. The other disease is called red blotch disease. You can see it right here. This is another disease that you can't do much about. If you see a lot of this on a plant, trim those infected leaves off, and that'll usually keep the plant relatively healthy. So the amaryllis is really wonderful. Keep your eye out for viruses or red blotch. Not much you can do, but at least you can be aware of what is going on. Forget it growing. I'm Dan Gill with the LSU Ag Center.